Hey everyone, uh, this is Michael from CloudApp, and I'm excited to introduce the drop, which is the next iteration of our email newsletter. I'm really excited about this. Uh, there, there's going to be a lot more video involved, so at the top of the tissue that we send out, there will be a video, video link. And then the content's going to be more consistent too. So <clears throat> there will be three sections. In the first section, uh, we're calling it In the Know, which is going to focus on the tech industry and trends in that space. So tech, productivity, hopefully the information in there will be actionable uh, information and data for your business. And the second section is going to be a little more focused on you. So uh, we hope to put together guides, ideas, and walkthroughs of things that uh, will, will improve the work you do each day. That's going to be content mostly from our blog. And then... Uh, cloud app tips will round it all out and the idea there is to highlight some of the key features maybe some of the features you're not aware of or haven't used before so that and hopefully those ideas will spur <clears throat> things within your day-to-day -day that'll improve your productivity and efficiency so uh, let's get rolling through uh, our in the notes section is going to actually focus on Mary Meeker and a report that she came out with on June 11th on internet trends. Uh, there's a ton of really great data in here, uh, too much really to to consume or even put in and highlight. So we we chose three points that stood out to us. Uh, more than half the world's on the internet now, so continues to grow. Um, there's not much of a surprise of that, but uh, some of the rate at which it's growing is a little surprising. So U.S. adults now spend an average of more than six hours of digital media use per day. And the usage, that usage growth rate has been accelerating, actually. So it's not slowing down. Uh, <clears throat> one interesting thing she noticed was that as the Internet market begins to cap, right, so that we have only so many people in the world, uh, and like for North American example, almost 90% of people are online. Uh, that means customer acquisition costs are going to rise and probably to unsustainable levels. So retention is and expansion within existing accounts is going to be the new growth. And we've already seen that a little bit, and <clears throat> especially in brands that are placing so much emphasis on customer experience. So speaking of customer experience, experience we've put together an executive guide to help people formulate a plan that delivers uh, exceptional experience for their clients. Um, this is tailored towards uh, executive level people or team leaders, but it provides a framework for establishing that plan. And so uh, I encourage you to look at that. We feel like it's really useful. And then to finish things out, uh, the cloud app tip we wanted to share today is actually um, within the settings or the preference areas if you're on a Mac. Uh, and it's the link or content that's copied when you finish a screen share or a drop. So when you complete a drop, what happens is something's automatically copied to your clipboard. And what you choose to have automatically copied to your clipboard uh, can change. And there's four options. So the default is a share link. And uh, <clears throat> that's typically the most common, and it allows users to pull it up in a window, your drop up in a new window, and see like shareable uh, links and to view the content. Um, a direct link will just filter out those, uh, like the platform view, and it'll be just the image or the video. If you choose to copy a download link, uh, instead of taking you to a page, it'll actually just download the file straight to your computer. And uh, the last option is actually the content. So if you're taking a screenshot, as opposed to creating a link on your clipboard, it'll actually copy the image. So if you're like working in a document or something, you might want that, uh, that setting to just paste images straight into the document you're working. Um, so again, these can be found uh, on a Mac by going, by opening up the Cloud App menu and selecting Preferences. And for Windows, you open up the Cloud App menu and select Settings, and you'll see the options there. Uh, 
So hope that's useful to you, that all these things are useful to you. And uh, uh, we will see you next time on The Drop. Thanks.